Hey guys, it's Cobb. Uh, this is Tuesday, so we're going to be doing another essential lick. Uh, the lick today is lick number 147. It's a pretty bluesy kind of lick, so here we go. So this whole lick is in G minor pentatonic. Um, it can't be transposed anywhere, but G minor is the easiest uh, to learn it in. Um, everything is played as triplets or 16th note triplets. Um, that's all there really is to say about that part of it. Um, so the first part of the lick, you're going to start on your uh, high G on the E string, and you're just going to play down the minor pentatonic and include the blue notes. Um, and then the second part, you're going to start on the F on your D string, G, D flat, and just alternate between those notes. And then you're going to play the G minor pentatonic, including the blue note, from the bottom of the scale instead of from the top the first time. Um, this time. If you want, you can also end with the uh, G being bent from the 6th fret on the B string. I prefer just to come up there, but that's because of uh, what I do when I end the lick. Um, and so the last part is going to be virtually the same as the second part. Um, but instead of just the third fret, you're going to start on the third. Then to the fifth. So yeah, that's the entire lick right there. Um, practice it slowly. Um, I'm going to play it for you now at various tempos with a little bit of embellishment on the endings of it so you can uh, hear what I was talking about when I said I don't like to just end on the bend and things like that. Um, so here we go.
So uh, there's the lick. Uh, I tried to demonstrate a little bit. It's not meant to be played uh, just as written. It's meant to be incorporated into other playing. Um, so practice these licks, but then also practice them um, as you're playing other things. Try to incorporate them into your improvisation or your writing or what have you. Um, other than that, uh, subscribe if you like this video. Uh, if you're interested in lessons, uh, contact me at lessonsbycob at gmail.com. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow.